hello 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm gabby today is a very rainy saturday in new york i'm here with my parents well i live here but also my parents are here so we're having a little weekend going out on the town but it is raining we're gonna do a little shopping it's gonna be a good time let's go okay i actually did a horrible job vlogging it's kind of sad but it was my mom's birthday so my parents came up for the weekend and we didn't really do a bunch of touristy things just because they've both been here and it was kind of more of a chill trip and to be honest the weather wasn't really cooperating with us but we did some shopping i finally went to the macy's in herald square which i'd never been to we ate a lot of really good food shuka was probably number one for me we also went to rowie's for pizza and tiny's for brunch very cute Cute, very simple weekend actually sat next to Sadie Sink at this brunch so that was a fun New York moment saw the six which was incredible the music was spectacular and yeah that was our weekend Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gabby. I'm a New York City based life and style content creator. Welcome back to my channel. Happy to have you. Hit that subscribe button. Would love to see you again. I'm headed into lab. I did my makeup today. I filmed it for TikTok. It's like very like 90s. 90s brats vibes, I feel. <laughs> Let's do a quick OOTD and then get going. Okay, so I don't think you're gonna understand how excited I am for this trench coat i have had my eyes on it for so long it's from Cezanne. it's the clyde trench coat i got it in the light beige colorway i'm obsessed with it it's it's just perfection it's everything that i want it's incredible quality it doesn't need a little steam probably am i gonna wear it out like this yes don't mind my tripod um this is the overall outfit i couldn't find a white t-shirt that i liked so i went with a tank top in an ideal world this would be a t-shirt but you know gotta move with what we have clean okay all right so doing a very basic base layer but um i'm doing this abercrombie skort that i adore it's a little short i'll be honest but uh i still love it it's still cute um this tank top is from Cezanne. jacket is from Cezanne. tights are sheer techs loafers are the vernon loafers that i love from madewell jewelry is all the usual wearing my catbird pearl charm brooklyn charm necklace that i custom made and then my anthropology bottega silver dupes and that is the that's the vibe for today cute it is raining but i feel like this coat is perfect for the rain okay okay let's get going cute i just got the coolest little package from say in the mail that i was not expecting um i think it's for their new well i know it's for their new um slip tent concealer but it came in this cute little makeup like pouch thing iconic yeah let's see what's in here the cutest little like say seal on it that's so cute but it's the new slip tint radiant all over concealer i've heard mixed reviews on this to be honest but they also sent a little mailer that has all of their different shades yeah there's just a bunch of info in here about what's going on mm. 
cute. It also is embossed with say. It's really cute. Alright, amazing. So, okay, first up we have the double brush. This is a dual-ended sculpting brush. Then I've got another star glow, which I've been recently obsessed with. I used it this morning. We've got the slip tint in the shade eight. The first time I tried this, I didn't really love it. They sent me the shade eight. And then of course, two shades of the all over concealer in shade 15 and 16. Got a bunch of goodies. Thank you to the Say team. You know that I love you a lot. Literally one of my favorite skincare brands. So yeah. research that talked about cognitive biases like confirmation bias which is the one that i tackled in the chapter that i just read from that's one of the better known ones gets a lot of airplay and headlines and things when talking about politics um the sunk cost fallacy was also mentioned with good morning good morning good morning happy saturday today actually so i think i started this video at the beginning of the week and i got some clips over the weekend when my parents were here but I kind of just got, I was like super overwhelmed. I just needed a break. So I don't think I vlogged very much else from the week. Um, but today is March 30th. It's a Saturday. It's like the perfect time to do a little monthly reset situation. So that's what we're going to do. Cute. I just did my skincare. I've been trying out some of the Rode products, which I'm kind of obsessed with them. Um, obviously, it's going to take a couple weeks before I really have final thoughts. But I mean, I think i think it's a winner but anyway we've got some stuff to do today i want to go on a walk because it's beautifully sunny outside and i feel like central park um might be blooming a little bit which is exciting i love spring in the city it's one of my favorite no it probably is my favorite season um i like that the city comes alive again after the winter but yeah i'm gonna run to whole foods pick up a few groceries i need to clean out my kitchen and start a round of dishes so that's what we're gonna start with and then we've got to do some cleaning around the rest of the apartment be sure to hit that subscribe button i post new vlogs every sunday and follow me on insta tiktok all the socials um cool let's get it also if you're new around here you should know that i'm a huge beyonce fan and i've been wanting a country album from her for literal years ever since i honestly ever since i heard daddy lessons um and cowboy carter came out yesterday and i'm obsessed i've done like five full listen throughs already um but we're gonna play this she is gorgeous stunning beautiful love and i really like my alexas because i can play everywhere and then it plays on both my alexas
Hello, hello, hello. It is many hours later. I cleaned my entire apartment. Everything is clean and fresh, which we love. But I want to take off my skincare and then I'm going to finish the book for book club tomorrow because I haven't finished that yet. I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, but I'm just going to use a cotton pad with micellar water. If I'm ever doing like, if I ever have like a lot of makeup on, I've been really loving the Fenty Beauty Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. It looks like this. But I'll do that instead of the micellar water because this is like, I don't know, not that. It's like good at taking off makeup, but it's not like, it doesn't really get into your pores and get the gunk out, you know, which is what you want. And then I'm almost out of another one of the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleansers. I really like this one. It's got a really nice like gel texture. I like to put a little bit of water on my face first. Nice gel consistency, which I really like. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Laneige Cream Skin Toner. I really love the Naturium Fido Glow Lip Mask for nighttime. I can never open it though. <laughs> um, I put a big dent in it. What serum I want to use today? I've been going in between the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Resurfacing Dream Serum that's in the blue bottle and then the Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair. These two are both pretty good. I've used this one a lot more, so I think I might do this. And then we're gonna finish off with the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. I really like this one as well. I'm almost out of this, so, you know. I clearly really like it. <laughs> OG favorite, the Effaclar Duo from La Roche Posay. Super cute, super cute. All right, I think that is all we're gonna do for tonight. Pretty simple. Skin is glowing and hydrated, which we love. <laughs> I've also been using, um, I've been using a lot of the Frenchie products recently. This is from the Lavender Cloud Collection. This is just the body oil. I like to put this on before bed. And then I also have the linen spray that I spray on my pillows. And then the essential oil that I put on my wrist before bed. And I just like how calming the lavender scent is. So, would recommend. Also, did I ever show you my finished makeup uh, drawers? I don't know if I did. But I ended up getting a set of four of the, like, taller ones. And then I also got the wide, like, pull drawers. So, yeah, I'm really into the setup. I'm kind of obsessed. It's so much better than how it was before. So I just feel like it's super organized. And then I have all of my empties from recently. So I can make a TikTok. Um, but this is the road pouch that I got in. And um, yeah, I guess I can show you my empties. So I used all of these Mighty Patch um, nose strips, which I really like. I actually need to buy these because they actually really do work. Um, so I used all of those. I had a Peach and Lily uh, Matcha Antioxidant Cream that was in the cabinet but is completely empty. <laughs> so that's an empty from probably like three months ago. And then I used all of these Glow Recipe Dew Drops, which I really like, but I probably won't repurchase them because I don't know. They weren't that great. Like they definitely are an option, but I just feel like I have so many 
other products that are supposed to do a similar thing. Um, so right now they're not a repurchase, but I did like them. Um, and then I ran out of the Peach and Lily Glaskian Refining Serum, which is one of my all-time favorites. So this will be a repurchase. And that's all that's in here right now. I think I have some makeup empties that I need to clear out as well, but that's what's in here so far. Oh, I'm like almost out of this Tower 28 spray that I really like, and I think I'm gonna buy the full size during the Sephora sale. So we've got a great system going, I'm obsessed. I will link the containers down below, but they're just from Amazon. My night routine recently has just been like chug water, drink tea, and read a book. Um, so we are reading Stay With Me for book club this month. It is very well written. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It is like very serious subject material, so it's kind of hard to get through like quickly, but it's very, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna actually make a cup of tea yummy with my very bright uh, green electric kettle, which I really love. Cute. Okay, kettle. Um, that's gonna boil really quickly. What mug do I want? I feel like I haven't used my Met mug in a while, so I am gonna use this. This is actually really, this is like a great gift idea. For someone that's either a New Yorker or moving to New York, lives in New York, I feel like the Met logo is just very sleek and will fit in a lot of people's like aesthetics. I'm not a big like museum gift shop girly either, uh, so I don't know really what possessed me, but one day I was just like, I feel like I should have Met merch. I think today I'm actually gonna make a green tea just for the sake of mixing it up because I think in my last video I did the honey lavender. So I think I'm gonna do green tea today. Use a packet of Truvia in like everything, coffee, tea, you know the vibe. Um, I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of this. Cute. Hello, hello, hello. It is now my bedtime. I'm going to sleep. I'm also going to go ahead and end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next week, hopefully for a less chaotic vlog. I feel like this one, I just already know it's gonna be all over the place, but that's okay. Sometimes those are fun, maybe. But yeah, I still have a little bit left of the book. I'll read tomorrow at some point, but it was getting a little late and I kind of just want to go to sleep. It's also been like, almost 48 hours since cowboy carter drops and i've literally been li this is the only thing i've been listening to over the past two days i'm fully obsessed with it i think i i don't know i just feel like i haven't listened to an album that's resonated with me like this one has in a really really long time it's just it's so phenomenal even if you're not a beyonce fan and even if you're not a country fan, I think you should still listen to it because it's it's really good. It's really, really good. It's so hard to pick a top five because I saved more than five songs too. But after listening to it very quickly, I think my top five, not including 16 Carriages or Texas Hold'em, because I feel like We've had too much time with them. I feel like I know, like, cause in my mind, 16 Carriages would be top five and I still think it is top five, but I just have had more time to really get to know it. So not including that one. I think my top five, I love, love, love Bodyguard. I love Daughter. I love Two Most Wanted, Tyrant and Two Hands to Heaven. I think it's my top five. It's like so crazy because then I'm like, no, cause Yaya and Levi's jeans and alligator tears and Jolene. I'm like the whole album, even the interludes. Like I love a little Willie Nelson moment. He was really good in his part, okay? Anyway, it's a phenomenal album. You should listen to it if you haven't already. Even if you're like an Aquarius and like to be different, don't like stop, listen to it. And then if it's not your speed, it's not your speed, and that's fine. Sometimes we're all wrong. We're all wrong, you know, once in a while. But, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. It's probably nonsense. But, 
It's been real. I will see you next week. Happy Saturday.